I'm Deborah Howell. I was in the military and I'm in healthcare and I see definite similarities. And that being that we're warrior healers is, is what I uh, term it. And to be prepared and ready to do our work. You know, we are facing uh, life and death situations and um, a lot of unpredictability and the complexity of uh, medical care. So we really do need to take better care of ourselves so that we can show up fully for our patients. Well, you know, it, it's been a long time coming. Um, I've been working in a clinic and seeing patients day in, day out, and it's, it's been a struggle. It's been a struggle to, to see the changes go on, but yet see that we really don't have um, the support for those of us in practice. And wanting to be thoughtful, wanting to be bold. You know, it's, it's taken a lot for me to muster up to this point. So it's time, it's important, and healthcare is uh, necessary for everyone, but also those of us in practice need the support. And so that is my main uh, point for, for this time. So I am a physical therapist by profession. I was also in the Navy. And I'm an author. Now my third book is coming out, Self-Care and Healthcare. Uh, now I'm also a mom of uh, four daughters and my recent grandmother, so I'm really excited about that. And my husband and I've been married going on 35 years. So I've seen a lot in this life and I'm very passionate and I love what I do in my line of work as a physical therapist. So I work in inpatient rehab, um, really helping people to start over with their lives after traumatic accidents and illnesses, and um, helping, them, helping them move forward, you know, inspiring hope and, and possibility. Well, you know, we, we have transitioned to electronic medical records for documentation, and I think a big part of patient care is the attention that we give to our patients and the ability to listen uh, and tune into them and with with the introduction of uh, this means of documentation it makes it difficult to do what we need to do on a computer and still give our attention to the patient so I think that's a big that's a big challenge in our industry um, and really how to make that all seamlessly work and allow us to um, to have quality time away from work you know so it's taking up a lot of time for one thing we're focused a lot on patient care patient-centered care and not so much at what it takes to help providers um, sustain their efforts for patient care and you know, we, we have a lot of these policy changes that seem to direct um, leadership uh, uh, <laughs> what they want, you know, from us. The autonomy in, in medicine um, is really removed from the practitioner and it's now determined by um, policy, policy makers and insurance companies. So. Finding our way back to really giving the role back to the practitioner in how to practice is how we have to figure out you know, what to do, to really work together collaboratively with um, those who are making policy and stakeholders um, in medicine um, and practitioners. So, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a dynamic process. So. But I think the main thing is to look at patient and practitioner uh, well-being, not just the patient, um, not just the patient, but you know, look at the whole, look at everyone involved in this process of delivering care. Because I, I love providing care, and those who love um, patient care and making a difference, that, that's, that's why it matters that we can sustain our efforts. So it's really about personal responsibility 
to provide ourselves the means to support our own efforts, you know, sleeping, eating, um, some basic things and, and having fun because when we're working out there it's a lot of work and mentally and physically demanding so we do have to provide resources for ourselves to keep doing what we love to do. Self-care and healthcare is about personal responsibility in providing our own um, care to ourselves as we are providing to others and, and recognizing what we're needing and not putting ourselves on the back burner. Well, from my personal experience, um, I almost was not able to practice anymore because I had worn myself out. I was burned out. And I still love what I did, you know, love what I did, but um, just had to find a better way to go about doing it. So I love meeting folks right where they are, you know, and helping them to be in a place of strength and empowerment that they can move forward and, and feel hopeful and, and also feel peaceful. Because a lot of times when your life has changed, um, there's not much peace in that sense. So it's a beautiful thing and, and feeling um, that sense of inspirement to inspire, being inspired and inspiring our patients, that's, that's a beautiful thing to experience.